Hey, it's Kev from Blender Binge. In today's video, I want to show you soft bodies, which is a really cool way of making things like jello or rubber. It's a really cool effect, so you'll want to stick around and watch this video and learn. Ready? Let's go. So the first thing I did here is, I, in my scene, I created a grid and gave it this dark gray color, and I created a torus and gave it a red color, and that's just so you can see what I'm doing a lot better. To give this a soft body, which is in turn just kind of making this fall and react and bounce around, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select my torus and I'm going to go over here to the physics tab, okay, all the way at the end, and you might have to pull this out to see it. I'm going to select soft body and to see what this does, I'm going to go down here and hit play. And you see the first thing he does is just kind of bounces around. Now this is immediately frustrating for people who see all kinds of cool simulations of jello slamming around and all sorts of cool stuff because, well, you're not getting that effect. You're just getting this kind of springy yo-yo thingy. We don't want the springy yo-yo thingy. So what we're going to do is we just have to do one little thing first. Uncheck soft body goal. Okay, soft body goal is giving us that springy yo-yo thingy. So let's take that off. Boom. Now watch what happens. I hit play and boom. He just kind of falls through the floor. Well, that's not cool either, right? We don't we don't like that. So, we have to tell this that it needs something to hit. Okay? It's it's not going to do anything if you don't have anything in the scene to hit. So, let's select the grid, which is why I put it here, and we go to collision. And once we hit collision on the grid, now if we go and hit play, yeah, look at that. It just falls and makes a mess. And we're kind of just left with that. Well, that's not cool either, right? So right off the bat, it just thinks you just want this to kind of collapse on itself. Fall, hit, and collapse on itself, kind of like cloth. So we don't really want that to happen. So what we do is we look down here and under soft body edges, we have all these little cool parameters. Now, this is a basics video and I don't want to go on for like 18 hours here on soft bodies, but I do want to show you some two little things that are going to really make this a lot easier to control. Number one is stiff quads. All right. And number two is bending. So, being that stiff quads was not on, let's turn on stiff quads and see what kind of difference this makes. Well, that's kind of cool. It's now it's a little bit less of a of a mess. Okay, it didn't just completely fall in on itself, but it's still not giving us that cool bouncy effect, right? There you go. Here we hit play, and it's just collapsing on itself, but and it's wiggling around and jiggling a little bit, but that's not really what we want, right? So if we go ahead and we turn shear to zero, let's see what happens now. Kind of something similar, right? So, okay, well, that was fun. But now let's turn on bending, and we'll turn on bending a little bit, right? 1.5, and we'll hit play, and watch what happens now. It kind of collapses on itself, right? But it springs back and it returns to its original shape, just laying flat because, well, it's being affected by gravity. So watch this. It'll play real time now. Boing, boing, right? Pretty cool. So it just hits. Reacts with physics, recoils on itself, springs back into its original shape after settling. Pretty cool, right? So that's bending. Turn bending to 10, and we get a, a kind of stronger effect. Okay. Much less collapsing. It's a much stronger much stronger tension 
All right, and then it falls on itself, and it'll settle at some point. So we'll watch it settle because it's kind of fun. Kind of just hops along and, and eventually comes to a rest. So real time here, boom, jiggles, and kind of just rides it out. Okay, so that's bending at 10. Now if I put on shear to one and I run this, I'm not gonna make you sit and watch the simulation here. I'm gonna pause it and then I'm gonna come back once it's ready. Okay, so we're gonna run this simulation and I'll show you now, okay? Not much has changed. But if I back this off a little bit, You'll see a bit. You'll see a, a slight difference, and I'm going to back this off just a little bit, and we'll show you. I'm going to pause it and run it again. Okay, so we're back, and I'm going to hit play, and you'll see I turn shear to two to point two, and I turn bending to point four. It should collapse in on itself a little bit more, and then spring back. So let's watch. Yep, collapses more, springs back, and jiggles a lot more. So. We also have pull and push, okay? We have damping, which, which will set the speed of, 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 of its reaction, okay? With plastic, we have length, and a whole bunch of other things that we can control here. And down here, we have, uh, we have the solver, okay? So we have the step size, we have choke, we have fuzzy, okay? These are helpers. Um, we, we can cache it. We have gravity, okay? Soft body field weights, a whole bunch of stuff here. But this is a very basic video and we're already almost at seven minutes here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do some really, really interesting effect here. Uh, just to kind of give you a little payoff for this video and show you how these can react with each other. So if I'm gonna go ahead and I wanna do a few of these, so I can duplicate this. Once I have all the settings on one, I can duplicate this and make it collide with each other. But to do that, all right, I'm just gonna add another collider on here. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna say collision. And now I'm gonna duplicate this. And I'll pull this guy up and let me duplicate another, pull him up. Okay, I'm just hitting Shift D to duplicate. And now I'm gonna pause it and run this simulation, okay? Okay, so I've run the simulation, and now you'll see something really cool. Watch. Boing. Okay, we have three kind of rubbery, gelatinous things colliding with each other. So, your mind is probably wandering right now, thinking of all the cool things you can do with this. So, go in here. Play with that. Remember, if the two things that really control that on your soft body are the shear amount and bending. And bending probably more than anything else, but your shear amount and your bending working in tandem really affect the look, the very basics, the look of your soft body simulations. And like I said, there's quite a bit more to it. But this is a basics video and I just want to get you up and running and started playing with this so you kind of understand what it is and how to use it. So if you got something out of this video, hit like, subscribe, hit that little bell notification, and uh, I'll just keep making more. Thanks. Talk to you later. Bye.